Wondering how to make your own social media GIFs? It's actually easier than most people think, and I'll show you how in this video. Welcome to 5-Minute Social Media, where we help busy business owners stop copying what everybody else is doing on social media and instead build a custom plan where you get all the results you want from only 20% of the work. If that's something that you'd like in your business, take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell. That way you'll be notified each week when we release another helpful video, okay? And if you want to learn more about how to build that 20% plan that still brings all the results and more, then watch to the end of this for a special invitation. I'm teaching a free masterclass, and I'd love to have you come and check it out, all right? My name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with the boy wizard. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own GIFs or GIFs However you want to refer to it is fine, but I'm going to call them GIFs. Uh, how to make your own GIFs on social media. Social media can be a lot more fun when you have your own GIFs, but not only fun, but more memorable, okay? If fun is part of your brand or in any way, if you want to stand out on social media, replying with an animated GIF of you or your branding or your messaging is much more impactful than just clicking like or using a GIF from a random movie that that person may or may not connect with. And by the way, Giphy.com, which is where all of the social networks pull their GIFs from, has become one of the top search engines in the world, like close to Google and YouTube. That's how big GIFs have gotten, thanks to their use on social media. The first thing you're going to need is a video clip that you want to make your animated GIF out of. So you can film yourself, or you can find some video that you already have, whatever it might be. Next, you're going to use a free tool called Giphy, G-I-P-H-Y, which you can go to Giphy.com and use, or I actually prefer the free mobile app. You can get this app for iPhone, which is what I have right here, or Android, and they both should function about the same. So once you've downloaded the app, you're going to have to create an account, or if you already have a Giphy account, log in in order to upload GIFs. So anybody can come in here and search and find GIFs. So click the little profile icon on the bottom right there. And if you don't have an account, tap sign up, create an account really quick. It's totally free. You can even log in with your Facebook account or on iPhones with an Apple account. I'm going to go ahead and log into my account. So now I'm logged in and I'm going to go back to the home screen by attaching the little home icon there on the bottom. And from here, we want to go up and click that plus sign where it says create on the upper right. Now, once you're in here, you can actually hit record by hitting the big white button at the bottom and record record your videos right here in Giphy. So that's another way to save time. I went ahead and pre-recorded a video to use for this. So I'm going to tap the little photo on the lower left. That takes me to my camera roll so I can grab the video clip that I want to use. Now the file size limit is pretty big, but the maximum length for a GIF is 30 seconds and you don't want to be trying to upload an 80 minute file, right? But once it's here, you can use these little yellow bars, trim bars, tap with your finger and drag to where you want the GIF to start and where you want it to end. So I've got this down to about three seconds, which is a great length. Could be shorter as well. I'm gonna hit continue. Now I'm in the Giphy workspace. First thing I wanna do is I like to make my GIFs squares. This one is obviously tall. I just feel like squares show up the best in the most places in terms of social media comments or in emails or wherever else you might use these. And so I just like to make them all square. I'm not gonna make multiple versions of each GIF. So I'm gonna top the little crop icon on the upper right there. And down below here, you can see lots of different pre-selected ratios you can choose. I'm gonna choose that one one to one, that first one there on the left. And then I can use my finger to drag which part of the video that I want to show. So of course, I'm gonna focus on my face for this. Next, I'm gonna hit continue. And then down here at the bottom are a whole bunch of different editing tools. The first one is to add text. So this one, I'm not sure that it's clear what I'm expressing here, so I'm gonna add some text. And once you've typed what you've typed, you can scroll through these at the bottom using your finger and it'll show different types of fonts that you can use. You can see there's quite a few different ones down here. Some of the fancier ones will take a second to process. So for this, I'm just gonna go with the default. You see at the top where it says style and under that white oval, well, I can tap color next to that. And now I can change the color of it if I wanted it to be a different color. And then on the upper right, there is that cir white circle with the black square on it. Just below that, I'm gonna tap that box. And now this lets me change the color of the outline if you want an outline. So I'm gonna put a black outline on there just so it's easier to see on top of my shirt. And I'm gonna do this slider on the right here. You can see I can change how thick the outline is. So I just wanna make sure that it's easy to read quickly on a small screen. 
I hit done. Now I'm going to tap on the words and I'm going to drag them to the bottom. These guidelines can help you center it if you want right in the middle or wherever you want it. So I'm going to put them in the bottom, but I do want them centered across like that. The rest of these editing tools at the bottom, that second purple one, this is if you want to add some random effects to it. The green one is stickers. So you could go through and add other GIFs or stickers on top of this, to, on top of your emoji. Cut is again, if you wanted to change the trim on it. And then this little blue arrow down there is essentially to change the way that it runs. So for example, if you choose ping pong, it'll play forward, then it'll play backward, and it almost makes it into a continuous loop that looks like it never ends, although you can see the lighting change as it goes through mine here. So I'm going to leave mine on normal. Once everything is exactly the way you want it, tap that purple or I guess the white arrow on the purple rectangle on the bottom right. It's going to process your GIF. And if you're ready to upload it to Giphy, you can tap that purple button. However, I like to just download it to my phone first and make sure that it came out the way that I wanted before I upload it to the database. So I'm going to tap share GIF on the left there. And then I'm going to tap where it says save GIF on the purple rectangle. You can obviously see you can say, uh, share it to Instagram, Snapchat, all these other places. But I just want to save the GIF. Then I'm going to go to my camera roll on my phone, pull it up and just make sure it looks exactly the way that I want, and it does. So now back here in Giphy, I'm gonna X out of that because I've already done the share, and I'm going to go ahead and hit Upload to Giphy. Now you choose, do you want this to be public, which means that people could find it in the Giphy database and possibly use it, or do you want to keep it private so only you have access to it? We're gonna do public here, so I'm gonna leave it on public. Then you can add tags. This will help you find it later in search. So I'm gonna add the tag FMSM, for five minute social media as a search term. You can see it already added the tag, you lost me down there. And so I think I'll just leave those two. Of course, you have to have the box check that says you agree to their terms of service and all of the legal stuff. And then when you're done, you can hit upload to Giphy. If you didn't save the GIF to your phone or your computer, I'm gonna tap on the profile icon again on the lower right there. And now it shows me my GIF. So there's the one we just made, I can tap on that. I'm gonna tap the paper airplane icon to share it. Then I'm gonna tap that share icon on the upper right there above the GIF. And then this is on an iPhone, but Android should look similar, but I'm gonna tap save image to save it to my camera roll. So keep your GIFs on your hard drive or on your camera roll on your phone. And then when you wanna go add one to a social media comment, instead of choosing this GIF, which will take you to the big GIF database with all the movie clips and stuff, I'm gonna actually click on photo, grab it off my camera roll. This is the first time your GIF's been uploaded to a platform like Facebook. It may take a second to process, but I tested this one a couple seconds before recording this. And you can see there it is. I hit enter and there's my animated GIF. Now, if you did want to publicly come up in search on Facebook and Instagram in the comments and places like that, then you actually have to apply for a brand account or a creator account with Giphy, which is a whole nother process. And I'll link to some information about how to do that in the description of this video. And by the way, using GIFs doesn't have to end with social media. I use them in my presentations on slides when I'm teaching classes and things like that as well. Was this video helpful? Let me know by giving it a like, leave a comment. I love to read your comments. You're not only supporting me, but also my two tiny superheroes at home. Hey, if you're frustrated with the way your social media for your business is going and you want a streamlined plan where you can get more results with less work, check out my free masterclass, Three Secrets to a Streamlined Social Media Strategy, okay? You can click the link and get signed up right now or watch this video for more information.